IBM Research and the Rhön Klinikum, a private hospital group in Germany, have announced a groundbreaking 12-month project to pilot a cognitive assistant based on IBM Watson at the Centre for Undiagnosed and Rare Diseases, located at the University Hospital in Marburg. An estimated 400 million people worldwide suffer from one of more than 8,000 rare diseases. For those patients in Germany, they often turn to Dr Jürgen Schäfer and his world-class team to look for clues in their medical history for a possible diagnosis, but it's becoming increasingly difficult due to all of the data. Especially in medicine, we expect in 2020 uh, that every three months the knowledge in medicine is going to double. So if we want to use this enormous uh, improvement of medical knowledge, we need to have assistant systems and uh, we need to have software tools to, to get a hand on this. To address this, earlier this year, the Rhön Clinicum teamed up with IBM to build a cognitive assistant which can build knowledge, understand natural language and provide confidence-weighted responses. The assistant will also be able to extract relevant information from huge data sets and in various formats to discover new insights to make evidence-based decisions. So we, we want to help patients that seen like tens of doctors, 10, 20, 30 of doctors, and respectively you get that amount of uh, letters back, reports, then you do lab results or you do a radiology report for example. That's a huge variety of information. It's an unstructured form, so you need to extract that information out of these uh, files and then put it into context. So one challenge is, of course, we are doing this in German, right? Um, and we want to correlate that with a wealth of knowledge that has been published and that exists in the databases around the world. So that primarily is done in English. So we will match the German to the English. And I think the, the, the best example was I, I was talking with the doctors the other day and they were saying, oh, we, we read a 50 page patient file and there was just this one single lab value that was slightly out of scope that got us thinking about it. Now, what, what you need to do there, this cognitive process that the doctor does reading all those pages and then realizing this one value is in context to something that is slightly off. So what we can do with our cognitive technology is basically sieve out all these values and check them and present them in a way that says, there you go. I must say we, we had started to use software tools uh, on a lower level, obviously, before, and we used a lot of uh, pay-for-service tools also. Uh, and. Uh, uh, but uh, the unique chance we see with Watson as a learning system is uh, especially in the field of rare diseases where you have continuously to learn uh, to get better uh, but this is an ideal combination for us. Once the pilot begins patients will arrive at the centre and fill out a digital questionnaire developed by the medical staff at Marburg on a tablet. This questionnaire anonymizes the data it collects and sends it to Watson's APIs in the IBM Bluemix cloud, where the relevant information is extracted for the physicians. Dr. Tobias Müller, an assistant doctor at the center with a degree in computer science, adds. What we hope to achieve by using IBM's Watson technology is that we first using Watson's natural language processing capabilities and also its dialogue features to extract all the necessary information and key symptoms from the patient history. Then we would like that Watson points us to the, the key symptoms and highlights us the specific results. And at the end we want to that Watson generates us a list of differential diagnoses based on these findings. I must say uh, the chances of such a new technique is uh, overwhelming, in, uh, especially in the field of rare and complex diseases. We can't really afford to miss it. And um, to the people who, who see more uh, trouble than hope in this development, I, I always compare it with uh, development in, in, in air traffic. You know, if, if, you, if you get started with an airplane uh, flying from Frankfurt to New York and just imagine for a second the captain would announce uh, to the passengers, uh, you know, uh, in order to improve the confidence in your captain 
uh, I turn off the computer on board. I think you you wouldn't be all, um, all too happy. You know, you we we need these techniques and we can use it and it improves security. And um, like in aircraft uh, and, and air traffic, you know, these these instruments are very helpful. At the end, of course, the captain is uh, is the captain and he decides what to do. Uh, and the same is in, in clinical medicine. Of course, the physician is uh, at the end responsible for the patient. The insight learnt from the pilot will be shared across Rhön Clinicum AG, one of the largest and most innovative healthcare providers in Germany, with five medical sites and 5,300 beds. Dabei geht es uns darum, dass wir das jetzt nicht nur im Zentrum für seltene Erkrankungen machen, sondern dass wir natürlich frühzeitig schon strategisch daran denken, auch mit IBM zu schauen, wie wir das auf andere Fachgebiete im Unternehmen von RKA ausweiten können. Denken Sie an die Onkologie, dort gibt es ja schon Erfahrungen, auch in anderen Ländern, wo Watson aktiv war. Denken Sie an die Neurologie, denken Sie an die Ambulanzzentren, die wir auf unserem Klinikcampi sozusagen gründen und die wir ja mit den niederlassenden Kollegen aufbauen. Schon in der ambulanten Situation kann es sein, dass man geeignete Verfahren mit Watson und IBM findet, um frühzeitig eine gezielte Anamnese zu führen, die uns dort in diesem ambulanten Setting schon eine Diagnos diagnostische Richtung ermöglicht. IBM Watson represents the new era of cognitive computing, where systems understand the world the way humans do, through senses, learning and experience. This is Anne-Marie Cromack reporting. Thank you.